Another flanker, but is this the flanker that we have been waiting on? Let's talk about it. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here, and today, yes, we are doing another dedicated fragrance review because, yes, I have a lot of these to do, but today we are focusing on the newest flanker in addition to the Burberry Her lineup. New for 2022, fall 2022 to be exact. This is the new Burberry Her Elixir de Parfum that we are talking about today. And as you all know, I have not been a fan of the Burberry Her lineup. Please see my previous video. I have it linked up top where I flat put it on the list of it's overhyped to me. We didn't care for the other ones. Didn't understand why everybody loved it so much. Everybody tried to say it was a Baccarat dupe, all of that. No, just no. But now I was still willing to give the new flanker a fair shot to try it out. And yeah, well, let's get all the way into it. But before we do that, elves, you know what we must do first. Lipstick of the day, everyone. We're giving mauve nudie type of situation. This is from MAC and this is the lip color Bronx, like the neighborhood in New York. Bronx lipstick, get into it. I have it linked below. And of course I have some gloss over. This is from Fenty. This is the cream version. This is the Mauve Wives the gloss I have on top. Everything will be linked again so you don't have to look for it. Next up we have fragrance of the day. I'm kind of feeling this whole mauve vibe because even the juice of my fragrance today is also this mauve new type of color. And this is Mon Guerlain, the original EDP. Yes, Mon Guerlain, you all. That is the fragrance of the day. I do have a full dedicated review already up on the channel concerning this fragrance. Yes, that's all I have to say. Yes, <laughs> it'll be linked up top so you can check it out too. And now let's talk about this dedicated review for Burberry Her Elixir, as it's called. So as always, when it comes to dedicated fragrance reviews, I rate fragrances by four categories. First category is mood, and that is literally how does this fragrance make me feel? Where am I wearing it to? What are the vibes? What is it giving me? Second is strength, and that is on a scale of one to 10, with one being just water in a pretty bottle, to 10 being nuclear juice. I have to wash and do laundry in order to get the scent out of it. <laughs> Third category is longevity and that is how many hours long lasted could I continue to smell the fragrance from the time I spread it on to so many hours within the day. And then the fourth category and arguably the most important for a lot of people is is this a compliment getting fragrance and that is a yes or no. So those are the four categories of how we do things here. And yeah, now let's get into the information. Again, this fragrance is brand new, Burberry Her Elixir de Parfum. This is the box. Yes, I do have it, full bottle presentation. This fragrance is brand new. It came out fall 2022. I did a first impressions discussing this fragrance previously, but again, this is the dedicated review. So this is supposed to be their newer intense version, which is interesting because apparently there used to be a Burberry intense and I have smelled that. That wasn't good either. So that's gone now. And this is taking the place of the old Burberry Her Intense. So this is now the Elixir de Parfum, or as we call it, Burberry Elixir for short. So this is new. Now let's get into the notes of this one. The top notes are Strawberry and Blackberry Accord. Middle notes, we have Jasmine Accord. And then the bottom notes are Vanilla, Amber, and Sandalwood. So, which is nice. And then it does come in a lot of different sizes, which is very good considering this is a new perfume because normally you have to wait for them to release different sizes when it comes to fragrances. So it currently comes in a 30 ml size, a 50 ml, and then a 100 ml big bottle. I have the 50 ml, that is this box right here. And yeah, now let's get into the presentation of the actual bottle. This is what it looks like. This one looks very different from the other bottles in that it has the shape of the original Burberry Hers and all the other flankers they have. But this one is the creamy pink one that's opaque. You can't see through it. So therefore you do know this is the new one and you won't get confused. As always, when it comes to dedicated reviews, I'm going to spray the fragrance so I can get reacquainted with it. <laughs> Quick backstory on why I purchased this fragrance. Straight up, you all, I told this before. I went in to smell it and smell a lot of other the new fragrances that all came out at the time. And when I smelled this one, and I smelled the other flankers while I was there too. The other flankers were horrible, but then I smelled this new one. They hit the tester. I was so excited. Love it first sniff. And I was like, wrap it up. I want a bottle of it. So that's how I ended up with the bottle of Burberry Hera. So that was the story of how we got here. So now that I've had some time to wear it, I've had two months to wear this fragrance. Let's get into this rating system. <laughs> Straight up you all, this is strawberry. You get a burst of strawberry up top and it's very creamy. This is so sweet. 
this is definitely like artificial strawberry candy it's very airy this is why i still say that this is strawberry cotton candy but in liquid perfume form but it lasts though and it has a body to it so no this is not a body splash let me say that right now it's very fun it's very lighthearted. it's definitely something a younger woman younger woman whoever wants to wear this but it has body though so it's not juvenile so let's talk about the mood of this fragrance this is so flirty. This is like flirty fragrance. This is, I don't have a care in the world. I'm grown. I want to go out and have a good time. I kind of want to just go frolic around in the mall and just be that girl and just have a whole bunch of shopping bags. Oh, by the way, I also have happy hour drinks reservations with a certain special someone when I get done shopping. That is this fragrance. This is not because again, it's it's fruity and it's sweet, but it's creamy though. And I'm like, ooh, this is nice. Now let's talk about strength on a scale of one to 10. Compared to other Burberry hairs, in my opinion, what I have smelled and just the fragrance on its own, this has a nice strength to it. I give this fragrance about a seven because there's an eerie quality about it. So this is not a heavy hitter boss scent thick it's not that now it is creamy but it ain't so thick that it'll choke you out it's not that so i give it a seven now longevity this right here we got to talk about the longevity of this here burberry her elixir parfum you all let me tell you something this scent has longevity and it exceeded my expectations just because of the type of nature of this scent being a sweet fruity airy type of scent i just knew this scent y'all was only going to last about maybe three hours this scent lasts all night, over eight hours plus. Let me give you a perfect story example of what happened. So I had took a shower and I sprayed this on in like an early evening type of thing because head off and I was like, let's go out, let's go get some dinner and run around, do a few errands in the evening time after work. So I did that, came in, sat, went to bed and all that. Woke up the next day, we were both up talking and about to like start the day and stuff. And he hugged me in the mornings like he always does. And he was like, you really smell so good. Like you smell sweet. And I was like, huh? I just knew, I just knew the fragrance had like, you know, was gone or whatever at that point. Cause I'm like, okay, it's fruity, it's sweet, what have you. Y'all, he could still smell it on me and I could still smell it on myself. And that's happened more than once. That's like the most recent occasion. But every time I wear this scent, it literally is on me over eight hours. So. Phenomenal longevity. Burberry, you did your thing. And this does live up to me for the hype of intensity like they have it written up as. For that reason, the longevity, yes. Yes, it's very good. And I didn't have to bathe in it too. I wore my normal sprays like I would do. I don't have to overspray in order to make it last long. That's just how it is on my skin. So very, very impressed again. And last category, which kind of already alluded to, but I will say, yes, in the different situations I have worn this, does this fragrance get compliments? And it does. For that reason, again, it's a sweet, fruity scent. So I will honestly put this in the category of a date day. I, know, so I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do date night, but this is definitely makes the list for a date day scent for sure. This is fun. It's sweet. It's delightful. And again, elves, what have I always told you all? Men love sweet scents. They love sweet and fruity stuff. I know we love our deep oods and all this other stuff that we be wearing for ourselves. It's nice, but let me tell you, the fruity stuff, that fruitiness and how this has vanilla and all that in it, I'm telling you that that gets the job done every time. So this truly meets the criteria of a quick, easy, he gonna like how I smell. It's a day day or early evening situation like we did. You can grab it for that. So I do recommend Burberry Her Elixir because it's gonna get the job done and get you a compliment for late lunch, happy hour, early evening type of date. Yes, I agree with this scent for that. <laughs> So all in all, you all, I have to say Burberry Her Elixir is a wonderful addition to the Burberry Her lineup. Now, do they need to make any more after this point? No, they don't. Because when I looked up how many Burberry Hers they make, I was like, why? Stop. Designers, stop making so many flankers. Just make their, your own sense. We don't need a million flankers. But in this case, I gotta give you credit, Burberry. This was the one that was the right one. This is the Burberry hair for people like me that did not understand the hype of the other ones and thought everybody was crazy for buying it. I was like, why? I, no. 
But yeah, I found a way to finally get me onto the Burberry Hair hype train and it came in the form again of the Burberry Hair Elixir. So I think this is a fantastic release. I think it's lovely and I'm gonna still reach for it. I'm gonna keep reaching for it because that thick and creaminess makes it fun and a good time to wear while it is fall. So I like this. <laughs> so all right, Ilves, that wraps up this dedicated review. Let me know what you think about Burberry Hair Elixir de Parfum. Do you own it? Have you smelled it? Do you like it? You can get it from some of everywhere by the way i've seen it at sephora i've seen it at macy's because like i purchased mine at macy's so it's a very accessible fragrance and that's another reason i like i love a good accessible fragrance that gets the job done and it actually lasts yes so this is checking all the boxes for me i'm here for it so let me know what you think in the comments below and yeah until next time else i will catch y'all in the next video bye y'all